Mr. Kejriwal has no portfolio. I think Atishi has about 11 to 12 ministries under her. Uh, and yes. she's taking care of uh, most of the work that the Amadmi Party is doing in Delhi. This also uh, seems to be a matter of convenience, you know, when such ghatalas happen. Uh, very convenient, actually. You know, Arvind Kejriwal was like, hat khada kar denge ki main to maine to kuch kiya hi nahi hai, meri to sign hi nahi hai, mujhe to pata hi nahi hai. This is this is why you know very very intelligently he has uh, not kept anything with him that so that he can you know uh, de detach himself if anything ap happens ever you know so uh, very smart of him to not put any portfolio like he he said this in the court also that mujhe nahi pata tha wo to atishi ko milta tha you know the, he used to meet atishi you ask her no these are these are evasive tech tactics that he has used in the court also while uh, you know making arguments uh, for his bail so uh, this this all these all things that he has done these you know from very start if you see if you see his journey uh, you know from when he was with anna hazare he said main apne bachcho ki kasam khata hu main kabhi politics mein entry nahi karunga then he entered the politics then you know he did not keep any portfolio with him he he, he actually gave uh, uh, an appearance ke he's very saintly he's a very you know he's a very he, he's a guy that the nation needs you know and generally you know these kind of people only then come into all these kind of scams that's that's generally how it happens okay mm. so you know K K karvin kejriwal's name coming up in all these uh, scams and you know that he has taken money from the liquor scam and he has taken money from the sfj it should not come as a shocker to anybody uh, you know he has he has been very smart in uh, uh, you know uh, uh, put, putting himself in this place so uh, you know th the point that was made is actually very apt that he has no portfolio whatsoever he has no signatory uh, uh, signatures that has gone uh, you know uh, he, he says it he says it in the court that uh, mujhe in his presence when it was said that in his presence uh, ye sari baatein hui thi he said mujhe nahi pata wo log aapas mein kuch khusur khusur kar rahe the mm. this is what he's saying these kind of arguments that he's giving in the court so he he has been always on a back foot that i don't know anything i am a very saintly person I, my only uh, you know uh, okay. agenda is to run a uh, run let the me, country yeah. uh, chandni let me also rope in advocate dhananjay into this advocate dhananjay what do you make of uh, the pmla ecosystem you know with the uh, weightage given to certain aspects you know where a suspect or somebody who's under investigation does not have uh, too many facilities or avenues for reprieve is that something which also makes all these cases highly obfuscating and complex well i think we will need some more time uh, a good number of trials uh, should be underway in the next one or two years and the pmla is a very drastic law and uh, we do not know what good it has pr produced but we do know that uh, there have been substantial and real you know attachments of properties very often Uh, when you have an attachment of let's say a share that's valued at x and you will find that three years late uh, the x is you know practically come down to zero but that's not the real case with the attachments under the pmla because a good number of attachments have been of real immovable properties it looks like on the one hand uh, there has been substantial progress but uh, i think the bail provisions uh, probably are just too stringent and coming back to the arvind kejriwal issue it should not matter that the aam aadmi party could take credit for some reforms that they have initiated and successfully completed in delhi like for instance the government schools and public schools and all of that all of that will have a bearing should someone be convicted and mm. thereafter on the matter of sentencing the person concerned could say that look i've been a minister in this particular government and i've been responsible for reforming this and that so please offer a lesser sentence please give me a lesser sentence so mm. the area where uh, the good deeds or whatever could be considered is after conviction and for the sentencing part so far as the bail part is concerned that's of no consequence at all it's entirely possible that the ed would argue that uh, this is a party that has done some public good and then taken the pretext of that public good to indulge in rampant corruption mm. and if the ed is going to offer credible information to the court then the court would find it really very difficult to grant bail number 1 number 2 also because mr kejriwal has to blame himself for making it difficult for him to readily ask for bail because he is skirted nine summons he's flouted nine mm -hmm. summons mm -hmm. now if you do that 
it really becomes very difficult for the court to single out you as a special person or a privileged person and then to consider grant of bail, notwithstanding that you've skirted nine summons. Now, if you deal with, a, let's say, take a typical businessman who was uh, implicated in a money laundering case and he skirts nine summons, I can tell you that the court is going to make sure that courts and a series of courts, it could be the trial court, high court, and the Supreme Court, because that's a hierarchy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've made a couple a of good points. I want Joyta to reflect on it. Joyta, uh, you know, if uh, Arvind Kejriwal hadn't scuttled those uh, previous summons, then perhaps the story could have been a little different. And secondly, you know, did they feel that Sanjay Singh's release was perhaps, uh, you know, a liberating facet that would also facilitate some sort of a leniency towards Arvind Kejriwal and the other Aam Aadmi Party members who are locked up? So first of all, as Chandni mentioned uh, earlier, that you know, uh, Sanjay Singh was released primarily because uh, um, his bail was not opposed by ED. But in this case, ED is tooth and nail against uh, uh, Kejriwal's bail. So I don't think Sanjay Singh's bail should be uh, taken as a uh, precedent. You cannot do that because you should have to look at it in terms of the degree of involvement also, mm -hmm. how much a person knows and all these things. So I really don't know. And as, a, as for what the delay that Kejriwal did, I mean, there was a theory doing the rounds at one point of time that he was... Uh, delaying it because he was hoping that his uh, he knew that he would be uh, taken into custody and he was hoping that his custo I mean his, his arrest will uh, lead to a surge of sympathy towards him and if it happens closer to the elections it will affect the election results I don't know that's again a totally a theory we do not know whether that's going to be correct or not but yes he should ha he shouldn't have you know I think nine summons nine summons he avoided mm. and after only after that he got the ed got to question i mean if he had nothing to hide what exactly was he trying to do he was he trying to tell the world that see i am kejriwal i am above the law because a majority i've got a huge i've got an i mean brute majority in delhi assembly and my party has got a huge majority in punjab so we are above the law mm. we are popular our popularity should uh, i mean allows us to basically to basically take the law in our own hands is that is that the kind of message but yeah. that he has been trying to send and Raju Lakshmi is, isn't it strange that uh, you know Mr. Arvind K. Jival, you know ignored all those summons because he said that the system was flawed and now he's betting on the same system to get bail uh, yes, uh, you know, Vineet, uh, what I find uh, very strange is, you know, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal has forever been giving cert certificates to others as well as to himself. You know, he has been uh, talking about he is how he is this cutter Rimandar, and then, uh, you know, all these things keep changing as as and as per his own uh, convenience. So at one time he was actually, uh, you know, questioning why some of the political leaders are not facing the ED, they don't face the courts. So that, that, that was the very question that he had put up. And uh, maybe he didn't know at that time and maybe he didn't think that he would get caught in a similar situation. So, you know, now he has been giving all kinds of certificates. So he spoke about how uh, Mr. Sisodia should be given the Bharat Ratna for the best education system. And look at it that uh, the schools, the public schools in uh, Delhi, they don't, they didn't, the students didn't even have uh, textbooks. So, you know, all of this, it only shows that he has actually completely uh, neglected his own duties. He has completely been uh, overlooking every uh, part of it. And uh, the, the focus was always only on advertisements, uh, mm. on television channels, in newspapers, and at the same time questioning and, uh, you know, putting allegations on any okay. and everything. We, we, we've run out of time, Raja Lakshmi. Let me just quickly take a concluding thought from Chandani as well. Chandani, Arvind Kejriwal, you know, not showing up for those summons. Was, was that a pretext or was that, you know, some sort of a precursor to what's happening with him right now? Absolutely. Uh, you know, nine times he was being summoned. Have we uh, seen something the, like this before? Um, in very rare cases, like if I, if, I, if, I, if I am being summoned, if I am innocent, I would go and join the interrogation and I would help the officials. You know, if, if I'm a very, uh, if I'm a person who is against the corruption, who is against everything, I would go and sit with the officials and, and I would help them. I would not evade those summons for nine times and I would not say, he has not even replied to those summons. 
forget hmm. you know attending them he has not even replied to them apart from that you know uh, he he actually destroyed evidences yeah and he uh, did he hold press conferences he did hold press conferences after those summons saying True. that this was this exactly. was a ploy to uh, exactly. incriminate him not be you know everything that is happening with kejriwal you see uh, the lg gave uh, that uh, gave a uh, gave an intimation that he has got 16 million dollars from sfj that is the amount that he has uh, you know the lg has suggested so not everybody can be conspiring against kejriwal right the All congress right. today is telling okay. that you know oh bjp is doing this with kejriwal yeah, we we've run out of time jyotha wants to say something quickly jyotha yeah, yeah. 10 seconds uh, you know this topic of sfj came up I mean I think that is the 16 thing mi- 16 that, million dollars that's a chunk of change I think that is the worst thing that any Indian can do hmm. to India I mean that is frankly anti India you cannot take from Khalistanis you cannot take has from it been terrorists proven? Has money it been yeah that's what I'm saying if it is proven sorry mr that should disqualify mr kejriwal okay. from indian politics for life i will feel very passionately about all it. right this is a this is a big development that came in in the middle of the third phase for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon